I met Gifty when I was actually in high school, my last year, I quite remember. It was a fun one because I was speaking to my twin sister, Andrina, and um, she was like, oh, I've got my friend with me here. So, like, okay, let me just speak to her and see what she's about. And then I spoke to her, and then I did, at the time I didn't know her name. She made mention of her name, but at that time I couldn't actually remember. So what happened was that when I came to church the first time I met Gifty, we had a conversation. And then we later realized that when I was in high school, back in the time, she was the one I spoke to. I was like, wait, I can't remember, it was Gifty. Myself and Angus met um, back in 2013 um, during our youth um, day. I remember it was his first time coming to church and then after the service um, his twin sister introduced me to Andrews and then from there we became friends and then um, we started to build a rapport and then eventually he asked me to be his partner in November 2013. <laughs> Oh, Gifty is very submissive. When I, can, when I say someone is submissive, she is an amazing person in terms of you trying to talk to her and be able to understand where you're coming from. She understands an open-minded things, questions, like you put something before her. She analyzes both sides and be able to tell you, you know what, this is what I think it is. Even though when she knows that she is in the wrong, she will admit it straight away because she sort of like understood both sides and be able to admit that. That's one key, one most important thing that I really admire about her. And then she's got this uh, sort of like encouragement every single time I'm down. She's there more than willing to obviously pick me up again and tell me, you know what, Andrew, it's going to work out eventually. One word that, uh, one sentence or statement that she always makes that I love so much. Everything happens for a reason, and then God should be in the middle of everything that we do, and then love is the key. Yeah. Andrews is a very hard-working um, man. Um, he is very kind-hearted and um, always, he has always been there for me. And one thing I really um, appreciate is that Andrews um, loves God. And whenever I'm down, he uses, um, he reminds me of um, God and then he encourages me through his words. And I feel like it's important for me to have a partner who is able to um, encourage me when I'm down and also help me as well in terms of um, in my education. He's always been there from the beginning and he's my biggest supporter and I would want my children to have a good example and I believe that I'm just a great man and I would love to share with you. A person like this, to have a person like this, incredibly amazing person like this, I'm willing to support her with everything that she needs, everything that she wants, everything that I can provide with my strength, I'm more than willing to. Um, she's obviously helped me so much in so many things that I can't really even begin to uh, list them like in terms of like finances, emotional support, everything that pertains to my well-being and obviously my success. She has been behind everything and what I am today as a man is, is basically because of her. And so for that reason, I'm willing to reciprocate everything that she's given, everything she, that she's done just to give to her because she deserves more than the world, honestly. I'm going to always be there for Andrews. I'm going to be his biggest supporters as his wife. I'm always be there for him. And most importantly, I'm going to ensure that he feels 
that he's being treated as a king because he is the head of our family. As a husband, um, I'm really, I'm really excited to be with the uh, gifty, honestly, because I'm, I've been trying to envision how our life is going to be and what I can do to support her mentally, spiritually, and everything that she needs. Because keep God in everything that we do, because that's the most important thing, and that's what she cherishes about me, basically. Um, that was the first thing that she said, you know what, Andrew, this is one thing I like about you. Your, your faith and your belief in God is amazing. So I will make sure that the first thing as a husband is make sure that I prioritize God in our relationship and be able to meet her needs in whatsoever way is possible. Um, as a wife, I would ensure that I'm always there for Andrews. Um, I'm aware that marriage comes with a lot of challenges. Um, although we have been through some as a couple, but one thing I know is that I'm going to ensure that I'm there for him. So both um, physically, emotionally, I'm going to be there to support him always. And most importantly, to motivate him whenever he feels down because um, he is and will always be my king and I do believe that he can do whatever he sets his mind to do so whenever he is down I'm going to be there to motivate him and cheer him up to remind him of who he is and I'm going to ensure as well that I give him the ultimate respect because he is and will always be the head of our family <laughs> Because I know from the scriptures, the fervent uh, prayers of a righteous man, his prayers are very much, which means it makes tremendous power available. This is really important, and I remember when I used to pray all the time and hoping God should intervene in our lives, and indeed, this is what has come. Andrews, we are 100% committing our marriage into the hands of God because we started with him. It's been a long journey till now, but we know that with God by our side, no weapon from against us shall prosper. And I can't wait uh, to see what the future holds for us because I know it's going to be great. And I know that God is going to bless us with beautiful children. Baby, 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 baby,